And we are live. Good evening, everybody. It's Thursday night. That means it's troll Rama time. Nice to see all of you. Let's make sure we're putting out to the other Good side here, which we are. Glad to see everybody tonight. Let's let the room populate a little bit so we can go over the rules. I do have some new moderators here so i can inform them to what's going on a trollorama is a time where we don't uh, we kind of loosen the rules according to hoyle we kind of lighten up a little bit and we allow a little more freewheeling in the uh in the chats here so welcome aboard to all i'm not going to go too long sean lee how are you sweetie nice to see you Thank you for your nice comment on my Melton John uh, Chimpendales video today, tonight, this evening. I appreciate that. I'll tell you something. No good deed goes unpunished in life. And I guess it's very anachronistic to talk about boarding houses. A lot of people feel like that's a throwback to the 1930s. It's just the era that I grew up in. And I guess it was a leftover from that era. But it was a really nice thing to be in there now. Trollorama is a throwback to 2015 when we had a guy in the community named Camper Van Carl. He had a road trek, really nice road trek. How you doing, Kimsey? And his night job was to work at the uh, evening check-in desk at the, uh, at the, uh, what the hell it was, Days Inn in Houston. And he would get bored at night. They were off once he had the prostitutes and everybody checked in for the night. It wasn't any big deal. He could go on the computer and just hang out. Usually it was just me, Elvis, and him and a few other people. But it was a trollorama. There were no boots, no mods, no whining. And that's the way I like a trollorama to uh, to be here. Um yeah, so that's what we try to do. So, the, Kim, it's a night to take it easy on the ranch. We just let things go. Unless somebody's doxing out somebody's information or putting racist or something really hateful on the side chat, we kind of let things go. 180, how are you doing, sweetheart? Nice to see you. Hey, Hello, sugar. But, uh, yeah, I didn't really appreciate this. Not often I'll address in a video, but tonight I felt uh, compelled to. You know, that, um, you know, just my old saying, to, hey, Tiffy, to a man with a hammer, everything looks like a nail. I mean, if somebody wants to nail you, they're going to nail you using whatever they can out there. Normally, I just watch watch videos. I try to leave helpful comments and put, put nice things down. If somebody's having what I believe is an issue of socialization, perhaps their living arrangement can be changed if they don't like suburbia and all the you know, the, the lack of interaction, you know, the sometimes the loneliness, then get yourself an environment where there, uh, where there can be more people. How are you doing, Sparky? Nice to see you tonight. What's on your mind, Sparky? Sparky usually, Sparky's getting his paws wet again after being away in R&R uh, &R rest and recovery from a couple uh couple wild, uh, couple wild years on the bottom of YouTube. I watched his video. He seems saying, I, I don't understand it. The, the pacing around, I'm not going to buy the psychiatric uh, BS anymore. I'm just going to call it out tonight. I'm going to call it the way it is. He has, you know, he wants to call me out and say what I do is BS. So I'm just going to say what you do is BS. When you put something in the top of your title, Oregon Psychiatric Evaluation Board location, come on, man. You know, you have to willingly put that in there, right? Oh, to me, this is the psych ward. Hi, Vicky. So uh, tonight I just asked the wrenches, take it easy. Uh, oh, to me, it's a night you can take off and enjoy yourself, do whatever the hell you want. And we kind of let things go. Hey, JK, this is the psych ward down here. Nice to see you, Diesel Twin Turbo. I think he might need some help. I mean, it's okay. I don't think he's crazy. I just, I don't know what it is. You know, I don't want to give him too much attention on here, but I'm just saying I'm done playing the psych card on there. You know, obviously we can, obviously we can theorize not shit happening tonight. Thanks, Ray. We can theorize. I'm not going to be on that long tonight, but we can theorize. All right, let's theorize. Let's put it out there. Number one which is not unusual. This is 2019. There's more than one, more than a few 38-year-olds that live with mom and dad. 
It happens, okay? Generally, the people that live with mom and dad, their world will be very circumscribed to a very small location that they constantly use to upload their videos within their home. Everything else will be exterior, okay? Which is fine. You know, I don't really care. I'm just saying a general rule of thumb. And then maybe if mommy and dad are you're off on a retreat weekend or taking it easy, you got to run in the kitchen a little bit. You can go down there. You can you can play, you can you can play it being the person that pays the mortgage. That's cool. It's no big deal uh, down there. Uh, that's A, right? That's the first choice. A. B is that you rent a room from somebody else. Again, people taking roommates all the time. Not unusual. Common. Okay. All right. C is that you own the house. <laughs> Let us not linger on C too long. Okay. So we're left really with A or B or choice number D. Hey, mouse toes, how are you? Yes, it's Trollorama time, honey. It's time to take it easy. Or choice D is that you live in a low-level, um, common shared group home with other people recovering from whatever malady. Probably not so. Okay, so there it is. How you doing, Nocturnal? Country girl in camo. Yeah, I got the cat gave me this years ago, this... Uh, the Steelers uh, shirt, some people are. Well, you know, the, th the thing that really pissed me off tonight, it really got my, really got my goat. And I'm going to do a video and I'm going to steam around and you don't understand what's going on, Rosie, and you just think you know it. And, uh, right, anybody can do that. But when you give people honest advice, and you just give him a look-see. He can look it up. He can see the rooming house. I think I even, I don't even remember. I think I put the address on there on the, uh, in the comments section, okay? It was a different era. It was a good experience to be with other people. Uh, hey, Lenana Bananas. Yeah, it's a steel. It's, it's like a Steeler shirt. I'm from, I'm, a, I'm more of a Ravens fan, but when they get them, when you get it for free, you get it for free, so... When the country girl or cowgirl character, well, I have one. And if, if y'all are good, I'll change into my uh, Little Miss Debbie outfit. Big Ben reminds me of Will Ferrell. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. You know, you just have a certain people, you just have a certain crew of people that just enjoy hanging out uh, in that environment. If you sent me a cowboy shirt, I'm going to light that on fire. There we go. Only if you do it on camera. I don't think that's going to happen tonight. <laughs> oh, to May. <laughs> I think Dave is having some big expose in a few hours, which hopefully I'll be asleep. <laughs> Cobra John, trolling, trolling, trolling. Keep those doggies trolling, 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 raw high. Do, 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 in any kind of weather. Now, I've not heard from Billy Boy, but I'm sure next time I go down, Bogota Outlaw True some of speech. Probably Brockovich. He's been floating around a long time. And my good friend, uh, Big Daddy, uh, Jim Riley, Riley the Goofer, Riley the Roofer, he gave me the whole lowdown, the whole dossier on this guy that, uh, you know, it is what it is. Show me your G.I. Joe. So it's whatever you guys want to talk about. It's been a lot of stuff going on the board. I had a hangout today. I talked about that. I put up some more stuff. Tomorrow I'm going to be putting up the drone flight over Point Reyes. Hopefully our drone will be back from the uh, repair shop. Um, yeah, I'm, going to, I'm going to do a separate video about that. I was going to do a hangout tonight, but then I got all steamed up about you know, melting in the Chimpendales, and I didn't want to chimp out tonight. So I already took my seizure, man. Of course, they make me so I'm barely hanging in. And he's, then he says we have to wait uh, three more hours. Well, you know, I don't know. <clears throat> you know, everybody's got to carve out their own uh, niche down here. I'm just, I like to bring people together. I like to see people happy. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to stand up for myself like tonight. 
and uh, speak some of my truths and things too. Yeah, he did, Cobra Johnny. Reared his head up. He really took a snap at me. Uh, really took a snap at me. Well, you'll always be able to watch it on the replay tomorrow, Otome. That's for sure. Yeah, I'll check it out later. You know, something about the big liars of the boys or something like that. So I don't know. I just, I, I, for me, how you doing, Karina? Not my path, but I, res I respect individuals' rights to do what they want on their uh, on their channels here. And it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and grab a drink. I'll be right back. But I can tell you this, guys, though. I can definitely tell you this. The era of just taking cheap pot shots at me is coming to an end here on YouTube. I'll tell you that. Especially when shit goes south like that over just watching a... Uh, okay, Lorana, over something like that. Yeah, you can stay. How you doing being Nancy? Nice to see you. Heard Pam go in jail because her lying Verizon. I don't know anything about that, Ashy. I don't uh, what is what's she gonna go? We're gonna go to jail about a daughter's some some cell phone purchases. You know, the jails are full of some pretty unsavory characters, okay? I'm not saying I don't have experience myself with it, but I'm just saying they ain't going to jail somebody over the experience of Verizon. I don't know about what the lie is or anything like that, okay? I don't know. Yeah, the day was pretty good, Ghost Player. I mean, I've had better days. I've had worse players. She lied to the people about recording, and the manager is issuing a warrant. Well, um... George is a one-party consent state, uh, Daisy. Only one person has to uh, agree to the um, agree to recording a phone conversation. It does not. It's not required to have two parties. I don't know. I don't. I haven't been on Adult Friend Finder in God a, a year and a half. It's not much over there. It's not much there anymore. Some pictures from 2015 in Las Vegas. How you doing, Vincent? How you doing, Daisy? Yeah, good luck for the manager. Cannot issue a warrant. Only a judge or... I mean, it's a lot of BS. It's a lot of BS. Anybody can record a phone conversation unless you're in a two-party consent state. So, you know, that's why companies routinely tell you that this conversation is being recorded for quality improvement uh, purposes. Yeah, the police judge. Well, you won't hear that person with another comeback on there. They're only here to just hit the troll ROM and be gone. <clears throat> this is uh, this is uh, Diet 7 up here. I may have one in a little bit. I may have one in a little bit. So, look, you're, the girl goes into a store to get a, a screen fixed on a phone and comes out with $1,500 worth of stuff. How do you feel? How do you feel? Me, I feel like you can take all the shit back, but I guess it was the fact that she got an F you from the, from the manager on the phone that really set her off. Um, No, my tummy's not upset. I'm just... Uh, yeah, I don't, you know, whatever, Odeme. I just I have so many years in, in on it. I'm like a tank. It's going to take a lot to bring me down. Yeah, I'm talking about Pam. Who are you talking about? Yeah, Pam, shoot the shit. Yeah. 
from what I understand, now they, you know, the store did come under a lot of salt. Dave was on the phone with him yesterday morning. I would probably cram that phone right up their ass. I mean, it's it's serious stuff. I mean, that's definitely taking advantage of somebody. You got to worry when you can just cram somebody's bag full of shit and there's no resistance. Well, you, I'll give you, I'll sell you two hot spots. Okay, why in the hell do you need two? Okay, cause me migraines. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hung over from my night with uh, Billy Boy, eh? I didn't get busted, right? Hey, Richard, how you doing? The pasta looked really yummy and your uh, discourse on GoFundMe. Thank you very much. Remember, GoFundMe never forgets, ever, okay? That wasn't cool, but I don't believe her daughter should have gone and gone two wrongs. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, when things have been handled differently, but I'm not there, you know. Whenever you have somebody that's special needs, your concern is always, you know, what happens when you're gone or what happens when you can't be around. And you, that's your biggest fear in life is how how is this person I love so dearly, how are they going to fend for themselves when I'm not around? That's a terrible, terrible thought. The cats go fund me. I mean, I've I've seen things handled differently, but you know, when the boy gets involved and you get you get Pam's dander up and she gets upset, then it's a whole different story. I mean, people are gonna everybody reacts differently. Yeah, it's funny. Vincent says exactly. I'm not special need, but my wife let me, won't let me go along. See, it's smart. How she feels about it. Yeah, I've, I've just had too many years. I've been kicking around here since 2014. Things really picked up steam in 2000. I've been here since 2013, almost 2012. And shit really picked up steam. 2014 and the GoFundMe's, most of the GoFundMe's in 2015 were horrific. And a lot of them I was I was uh, involved in. Some of them were good. You know, eye medicine for somebody. I still think the, uh, you know, thing for Warren, but, you know, stuff for people with RVs, RV lot rent, some goof riding his bike around the country to raise awareness for animal shelters. Uh, just the list goes on and on and on. Yeah, that's fine. I'm saying that's what I'm saying. See, Kat said, yeah, and there have been many successful ones and many that I gave to, and I give it to a ton of them. But I'm just saying recognize that they have a very long tail on them, but also recognize, as I said, sometimes you don't have a choice in life. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And... If you do have the assets, if you do have the asset base of friends to lean on, then you'd be surprised how many people are willing to uh, help respect people's rights. That's what I say. Know this. And this is what I said. You don't have to contribute. You don't have to support it. But don't stand in the way of it. That's that was my whole principle. You don't have to you don't have to give. But. You know, when you go out of your way to dissuade, then it gets a little deeper in there. That was my whole point. I don't know all the ins. Well, I probably know more of the ins and outs of cat situation and probably 99% of the people. But we got to do what we think is right for ourselves. A lot of sick bastards in the world used and mentally retarded for a uh, for a buck. Well, it was certainly seemed to be the case in that uh, uh yeah, I'm just saying for for functionally, we used to we just called them differently, differently able, <clears throat> differently able. I was asked by a couple people to uh, do a uh, GoFundMe hangout, cat. That's another thing. I just I can't. That's I can't do them anymore. I can't do that. Wasn't by you with some friends. How you doing, Boston Kitty Cat? How are you tonight, honey? 
I feel like everybody has to stand up for themselves when they do that. And you've done it. So I don't have any, I don't have an issue with it. So I'm just saying from my own experience was so fucked up. <laughs> I don't forget want to go down that, uh, never want to go down that road again. Look at them smooth. Hey, Napalm. It's napalm. I never know whether it's going to be a positive or a negative. Do we give a uh, uh, pass for trolling that they say will kid off YouTube? I don't never really know for a fact that it was uh, it was Dave or not. The only thing I know, Carlos, it started when Yeah Man brought that information over to. There was something about the kids and moderating, and it was like young kids. And uh, Yeah Man got very upset about it, and I think that. Um, some people looked before they leaped and ran over there and caused some issues on that. GoFundMe has become rogue in so many ways that dilutes the real causes out there. Um, yeah, I think so. I think it does. I think it does. And my, you know, I have my own parameters for it. I like to do things privately now. I like to give help privately. I think that has a lot more, uh, I think it's it's good for both parties to do that. How you doing, hipster heaven? How you doing, honey? You know, there's that when you do things quietly and behind the scenes. Uh, you really think that kid killed himself? Why why would he do that? Why would uh, yeah, she's given quite a bit in the past. Cat's given a lot to people in the past. Carlos, I think that I don't think so, uh I don't think so, Carlos. I mean, uh, you know, after he went through all that negative time, Anthony seemed to bounce back for two or three weeks, and he was he was seemed to be right back to his own self again. Uh, I have donated to man, but only have to yeah, do some research. Yeah, this uh, this guy Anthony, he was a wheelchair. I think he had uh, MD muscular dystrophy or something. And I think he got in the sights of Boyd. So it came down pretty hard and uh, he was upset. We went over, tried to uh, cheer him up. And I think by and large, things were on a pretty good plane for two or three weeks. And then he, then he just seemed to disappear. He seemed happy again and all that. I don't know. So I, I hate to get into situations like that. Just just be supportive, be nice to people. I once trolled a blind kid with muscular dystrophy. Gee, Carlos, that must have been very satisfying, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe I don't believe so, Kat. I'll never I don't believe that. I don't believe that Dave chased him up. I believe I believe Dave intersected with him a bit. Probably trolled him to some level, but uh, beyond that, you know, there were some uh, there were some other things. I mean, I like I never really did talk to Yeah Man about it in depth because he was the one that really brought it over to the boy, you know, brought it to attention. Something about uh, you know underage ki underage kids, or he was doing a show for. Uh, for younger kids, which, I mean, it's kind of sad these days. I mean, if you enjoy working with kids, nowadays everything has to take some some type of negative cast to it. It's like, it's like 25 years ago, you could walk by a schoolyard, you could stand by the fence, you could enjoy watching little kids play, kindergartners laughing, sliding doing goofy shit and uh, young kids playing kickball and you just you just enjoy it nowadays you don't dare do that you don't dare walk up and, and just enjoy kids being kids you got to be careful to park and and uh, you know you got to really be it's a different world we live in today it's almost like the pendulum we've lost that human contact of the belief that most people are decent in life and it's kind of sad how you doing joey d uh, how he played video games being blind is mind-boggling. Now, Carlos, you're trolling me now, okay? Jesus. 
good as uh, deaf, dumb, and blind kid. Short play to mean bin, pin ball, right? Elvis films, I don't know if, I don't think there was any filming or kids at that. If you're talking about Freedom Lake Park, I don't, I don't, I was there on that hangout. So, well, I'm not having people do uh, doxing stuff, bully. But other than that, it's a troll drama. It's a free speech zone. Hey, perfect. How are you? Someone called the cops on Elvis just for food. I, I know that. I know that. I know that. I know that. <clears throat> I think any, every, basically everybody knows that it is a crazy. Well, he walks around without his shirt on. You know, when you rather fuck Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Look at <laughs> speaking of uh Mallory, didn't mean to make you laugh with that one. I hope you're feeling better. She got busted up pretty good. She's bruised up quite a bit and uh pretty shaken up. How you doing, Big 420? What's going on? Uh what do you think Dave is gonna expose tonight? He said it will be epic. Um, hipster having my own thought is there really can't be much more. You know, grist in the middle. You know, there can't be any more raw material, but you never know. You know, I don't know. I really, I can't even think about um, what else it could be. Anybody else have any ideas? Yeah, I think he's driving somewhere. He might be doing a meetup or something like that. I'm not sure. Obviously, it was something that required some planning, the pulling together of a, of a few people. I don't know. I'm not. Uh... Hey, Junker, how you doing? Listening and sleeping, multitasking. You think he's going to a farm? Hey, Carl, how you do, sweetie? I think my guess is a farm. No, I think it has something to do with some of the people down here on the on the Boyd. <sighs> Uh, bringing out, I don't know if he's on a road trip or maybe drove somewhere. I don't know. Maybe he's going to pull up in front of somebody's house. How you doing, Jen Jen? Welcome to the Trollorama. We just kind of give our wrenches the night off. No boots, no mods, no whining tonight. So, uh, Did you see his finger? No, I didn't see uh, Carlos. God almighty. <laughs> Hey, Matronista. <laughs> How you doing, side chat slut? And bully, who are you going to go after, beta boy? You know, right? Yeah, I don't, uh, very careful with just the limited wrenches I put out. Uh, oh, and the kid's mod to help him get rid of poor little Carlos, huh? Him and Matt, Mama Beth going to have him for threesome. How you doing, irrelevant me? Welcome aboard. What's up, Bergs? I'm just having a I'm just having a trollorama tonight, Bergs. Nice to see you, Matronista. That means everything's on the side chat tonight, Bergs. <sighs> yeah, it's nice. Side chat slut was gone for a while. Um, you bought a karaoke machine, huh? So I'm not sure what could be coming out tonight. Berg's nice job on the um, road truck. It was nice to see. I've never seen that ST edition before. Would you all consider Boyd uh, Orgy when you go to uh, – would you all consider a Boyd Orgy when you go to Vegas? Um, no, hipster. <laughs> Yeah, I told you I'm doing a troll rama tonight, Bergs. We'll do it another night. You're welcome to come and just hang out and have a good time. Uh, yeah, 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 hipster. I'm not sure how you doing, Willow Love. You know, hipster. That's a lot to. That's a lot to. That's a lot to gum down. You know, <laughs> quality, quality content, quality content. Can you imagine that? <laughs> uh, see, when, when, why do you visit Carl Brooks' channel? You know that guy has scammed people for many years, as well as beat his ex-wife and stepdaughter. He stole thousands. Of see, I don't know Carl Vincent. I really don't know uh, Carl that well. I would would I support somebody that uh, 
beat and uh, ex-wife and stepdaughter. I'm just very careful of accusations and stuff on here until I can see it to proof of that. If you have it, send it to me. Yeah, that's right. I can only do so much, so much topping action. <laughs> um, yeah, but I never saw any proof, Vincent. You know, I mean, if something's out there, I'm just, I'm not one. And it's not like I donated. Uh, I know Melton's in an uproar. I knew he would be. I knew that Melton would go off the rails on this thing. But I'm going to go off the rails on Melton, okay? You're not going to use me as a stooge, Melton. That's the bottom line. All right. You're off the rails. You took some simple comment I had about a boarding house. I even gave the address in Baltimore on North Carolina Street. And you took that thing and you ran with that and you you want to make that some kind of big event, okay? Some some big psych war event, whatever. Whatever. Christ. Uh, damn. Okay, thank you. That will have my better idea. Thank you. Uh, all you said, that's all I said, hipster. I said, uh, you know, it, uh, you know, the guys, the guys walking around, he's at a, he's at a very lush looking park. We don't have parks like that around here. Okay. I assure you, you've seen the parks we have or, or fucked up blacktop and benches where homeless people hang their laundry out and it's screwed up up by the Dollar Tree. That's a park. That's a park. Okay. And it seemed like he's lamenting that, oh, man, it's all gentrified. You know, all the hipsters have left and it's boring and, uh, you know, everybody's sold out. And I'm thinking, dude, I got the perfect antidote. I'm just saying where I, if you want the experience of a lot of people and sitting around a big community table twice a day and having your meals, it's a good experience. It wasn't meant to be negative. Uh, I have a mole in my chat room. I don't know. I mean, I have a mole in my, I have a mole in my, in my chat room. What the hell does that mean, Frederick? <laughs> a point mole. Uh, hipster says I live in the city and I'm tired of it. <clears throat> hey, cause how you doing? <laughs> Cuz, what's up? Are you staying clear of those Albanian crazies that just want to kidnap you and have their way with you? How you doing, Cuz? Nice to see you, my friend. He's like, yes, Cuz is, uh, Cuz is the vice mayor of Slab City down there. Can't wait to see you down there. Uh, uh, late fall, Cuz, going to be coming down your way. How you doing, mobile mechanic? I didn't just come on your show tonight, Bergs. I made a comment on on your video. I've decided to just have a troll of Rama uh, tonight. I'm not going to be, uh, yeah, good thought. I'm not going to be on that long anyway. Let's, let's just enjoy ourselves. Thank you, uh, Natalie. How's everything going, Kaz? Thought it would be more trolls. Yeah. Coach 9500 is the heir to the RV throne. How you doing, Colleen? I'm doing good, mobile mechanic. Yeah, we're just having a side chat fun tonight. So I did it. I already told you I liked your video about the uh, road trek. I never saw that model before. <sighs> good. It was well done. Let's not go off the rails. Hey, Ben, how are you, sweetie pie? Nice to see you. You know, yeah, I was, people were asking me today. Uh, <laughs> calm down, Bergs, calm down. Hey, Shirley, how are you? Biggest name in RV community is Marshall. <laughs> I think today Marshall is up in Wisconsin. I think he's actually doing a good day's work. I think he's helping Mr. X's uh, family up there. So they probably needed... Uh, Marshall's sheer, sheer, sheer brutish strength. <laughs> hey, Telco, how you doing? <clears throat> Let's 
turn that up. Yeah, just uh, relax, Bergs. Shauna. Yeah, Shirley's. Yeah, I like that name. Shirley's my prison name. I like that. So, <laughs> it's lunch. Lady. So, Kaz, is everything doing okay down there? Getting into your hot season there? I miss your, uh, what was it, your four question, three questions with Kaz. <clears throat> I'm well. Okay, life's good. That's cool. I'm glad to hear it, Ben. But you know, as far as Melton is concerned, it's two words, two words you don't often hear in a sentence: hipster and Melton. Yeah, uh, can't see Bergs must be blocked. And if you're not subbed up to Community Cause, if he gives you a good insight into uh, what life is like in Slab City and some of the characters there, and uh, Nile and around the area, sub him up. Good evening. Eating dinner and getting ready for bed. Okay. I believe there are bigger names than they actually live in an RV, not a van. Oh, it still hadn't gotten hot yet. That's nice. Hey, how you doing, Antonia Smith in the house? Nice to see you. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I sub to Burbs if I'm blocked. 89 Ford Coachman. I had an 88. Yeah, Tosh, the Boyd Boarding House. Boy, that blew up on me tonight. Not many triple digits yet. I guess they're coming, uh, Kaz. June will hear it down in. Wogster just invented iPoid. Irrelevant people on YouTube. His promo. There we go, Sig. How you doing, Sig? Nice to see you. And, uh, yeah, well, Melton and I are we're evidently at war now, so... Hey, Hippie, how are you? Uh, 89 Forge Coachman is an RV. It is. YouTube, Lee and Ladybug, just make sure you unsub and resub again. They should come up. Yeah, I think I'm a member. You should, could open the Boyd Boarding House. Everyone would want a room. You stay booked. I guess I should, you know. I guess I should. We could open that up for, what do you think, Tasha? Open that up for winter months. Open that up in like, what, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, and then shut it down, you know, and have a uh, have a boarding house down and have a boarding house in Largo. Let me fix this fucking camera. <laughs> yeah, Rosie already stole my idea. I now see why Melton is. I don't know why he's so triggered with this crap. India's strong. Vincent said, India's strongest tropical uh, cyclone to make landfall, barreling towards 100 million people in a kind of prompting of officials to begin emergency accusation. This world is just screwed, just screwed. Yeah, I don't know. Do you have any of them old school stereo receivers for sale? Which one would you be interested in? Like, uh, I'm going to look up uh, Nikko, N-I-K-K-O. I might sell that. That's a big unit, but that's a beautiful unit, the Nikko. <clears throat> There's an Allied unit I might part with. Some of this stuff is tube stuff. So this is now or never. You want, uh, okay, Burgess, calm down. I do side chats. How you doing traveling? I believe Tara is okay, Antonia. She's just working hard. Oh, Burgess means business. Burgess will be all right. I'll take the Dynaco ST70. <laughs> there you go. It's our last chance to get Bergs on. Yeah, I mean, if Bergs is a friend and he wants my ongoing uh, support and friendship, he'll understand that tonight, uh, you know, I already said earlier tonight I was going to ask him if he wanted to be on panel because I couldn't do it last night. And he said no, so I made another arrangement tonight. Said. <clears throat> Yeah, I like a side chat tonight. I want to take a night off. Put a brick in your van in case of a skunk showdown. There you go, Chairman Norm. I'm not going to throw anything at a skunk. 
I'm not going to say anything. What did traveling say? What did traveling? Did I miss something? Hold on a minute. Are you in trouble or something? Let's see. Going missing for, oh, you're having emergency surgery. Oh my goodness. I hope everything goes for you. God, I hope you're okay. Thoughts and prayers for you traveling. I hope everything turns out okay. Wow. We have a store in Dayton. It's called Mendelssohn's. It sells all the old tubes. And yeah, that's really cool. Mobile mechanic. Last, last, last chance. At least it wasn't a... Man, I couldn't believe the size of some of the skunks motoring around Point Ray Station were huge. What was the deal with the van? I have the new gas cap on. We're going to see if that does the trick now. Another $26 down the shitter there. We'll see if that does the job. It did last time. Um, but I'm concerned, about Vincent, about this Carl Brook. I mean, he's still, um, I didn't see a lot of people falling all over themselves to, uh, to donate. Yeah, this side chat is hilarious. <laughs> Look at Tasha. Jesus Christ, I hate you. Tasha, we're in good shape on this. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. <laughs> she's gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna sick Sammy Jacks on me. Hey, Beavis, how you doing? No, I'm not gonna throw anything at a skunk. You irritate the skunk, and the next thing you know, you see that tail twitching in the back, and then it's full on, man. <clears throat> If not, okay, Cobra John, it's a deal. I promise you. I promise you, Cobra John. If that doesn't fix it, and I'll be going down the road to Oakland again Saturday for the last time. If that doesn't fix it, into the deal or she goes while I'm away in Vegas, okay? What's going on, baby? It's nice to see you. That would be crazy if it was. Oh, okay, because Vincent, I was going to go down and pay for a night or two to be on the boat on the sailboat down there but then i noticed uh he doesn't go anywhere hypnotoad said he's a scammer and he, he was when he was a farmer he ripped off tons of people out of his place yeah see i just i asked if he goes out fishing uh and he said he doesn't go out anywhere so i don't want to just be pivoting around a uh, mooring ball all day long so um yeah, much now is hanging. I just don't get involved too much in that. So I don't I really don't know his story. But I'm not gonna go on your boat to just, just to be on a mooring ball. Asian women are hotter than Latino women and better cooks. I don't know. I'll let you. I feel sorry for his dog. His dog fell overboard on the boat Sunday night. So, I mean, I just stop by. I try to be friendly. I, you know, just ask a few questions. <clears throat> it's not a sailboat. Well, that's what I'm saying, Colleen. It just kind of sits at port. So I would have gone down and paid like he wanted 100 bucks a night to be on the sailboat. I thought if we go out, I thought it might be some good content. You know, be jump popping around in a bikini on the boat, and going out swimming and, uh, fishing but not to just be bobbing around the boat i know a guy that i know his best friend oh well okay because he's he's heading to ohio to set up a aquaponic no, hydroponic lettuce farm so <laughs> the sales <laughs> the sales have never been deployed <laughs> Would you win in a showdown with a skunk with you? you no, I, I wouldn't even attempt it, Joe. The thing is, just try to be cool. Oh, he went to Marathon just to stalk his ex-wife. Wow. Yeah, he's he's doing hydroponic lettuce or something. Uh, well, he's never sailed. It's called Diver Fisherman Sailor. Something like that. I just don't know the guy that well. Oh, it's been, yeah, I just, I really just don't know him that well. The Lettuce King. Oh, 
I'm from Florida. I'll probably tame this guy. Yeah, I just didn't want to make any moves. I just wanted to keep very calm with that skunk. I mean, I couldn't really take off too fast. If I I wasn't going to abandon the van and then the raccoon, the skunk would have just set himself up at home in the van. And then I got a big problem. Uh, Beta Boy Elvis dropped a video today. I'm sure he's around somewhere. An office worker at my kid's school has a skunk as a pet. The thing is like 40 pounds. The kids, yeah, I'd love to have a skunk as a pet. They just, they look magnificent. They're so beautiful. Yeah, that's right, Colleen. We don't have skunks here, and our pets don't have to get rabies shots. So they're, yeah, Hawaii has very severe quarantine. Yeah, I should have made friends with the skunks. Should have had, uh, yeah. They have very strict quarantine laws. It's like 45 days in Hawaii or something. Okay, I will. Now, and now it's back at Grandpa's farm. Okay. Uh, well, you know, you never escape your past. You can get, uh, you can get a vet to cut the stink sack out of a skunk. Yeah, but I'm not sure if you're allowed. Like, I don't believe California allows you to have, I think you have to have a special license to have a skunk here because they are carriers of, uh, rabies, notorious carriers of rabies. Hey, Mona Rig, what's going on, honey? How you doing? I would love. It. I just think they're very magnificent. They got their little black hands, and they're all very cute. Yeah, they're not legal in California to have one. Yeah, it might be months. It might be like ninety days. Richard, Colleen knows. How you doing, Classy? Classy redhead in the chat. How you doing, sweetie? I want to get a dangerous reptile license. I think it might be like 90 days. They wanted to remove it. It was something like six months before, and they fought to have it reduced to like 90 days. Nothing is legal <laughs> in California except the illegals. Ain't that the truth, traveling? <laughs> Nothing's legal except illegals. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're allowed to have... Um, Skunks is pets in California. All right, a caiman. I don't recommend this uh, pets. What the hell's a caiman? Sounds like a fucking island in the Caribbean. Caiman. Fucking Orioles lost again. Caiman. Porsche. Nice. No, Rosie, you jackass. Is a small crocodilian in the alligator family. Hmm. Thing looks like it could still chop down on you pretty good. Gotta keep your sack tucked up. Small croc. Vince, and everything causes, yeah, and everything causes cancer in California, too. That's why, you know, cause I'm jealous of your lifestyle. I can't wait to come down there and just get fucked up with you with a... I'm going to bring in a couple cold six packs and I'm going to come in fully loaded cause you're going to be happy as hell. It's going to be like the welcome wagon coming in and we are just going to get fucked up in slab city. We are just going to get wrecked down there. Have the time of our life. 90 days, unless you have a uh, vets release and you don't have to have the quarantine time. Is that a, a Hawaii vet? Colleen that has to do that, so that's who I'm, I'm looking forward to getting shit faced with Kaz and hanging out in Slab City for a week. It's the best way to go to Slab City is with make sure you know somebody down there. You know, I know Cornelius, I know uh, Alien a bit, I know uh, Kaz down there, so that makes it a lot. I know 12 beers won't be enough. But I am, I'm telling you, yeah, there you go, Kaz. I sent Kaz down some of the uh, hooch. I'm going to bring a shitload of that stuff down, Kaz. I'm coming loaded, man. I'm going to get up on the range, put up stripper pole, and let's go for it, man. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to make history at Slab City down there. 
<laughs> yeah, the library slabs, Cornelius. A lot of fun. I'm looking forward to that. I love to get blasted with these guys. I don't. I'm not. A, I don't smoke and shit, but I do drink like crazy. Yeah, side chat slut said Slab City was so scary. That's why I think it's important. Like, if, if you know somebody like Kaz, and I've known him for a couple of years, of course, through the net, and I've been happy to support him. So I love his content that he does. I haven't been on too much lately. I've had other shit I'm doing. But somebody, thank you, Cobra John. Thank you, sweetie. But to hang out with Kaz, you're, you're hanging out with somebody. You, they know the ropes down there. They're not going to let people come in and, and fuck with you and all that. So that's good. Slap City's on my list. I think I'd get in trouble. I think he would too, Tasha. So, but he's the guy to connect with. I mean, the community cause is like the mayor. We drank the last at prom. My buddy got so drunk that he set up camp in the <laughs> middle of the road. <laughs> no one ran him over. Holy shit. Not like smelling salt and sea. I think everybody has to experience. I mean, can you imagine Rosie's slab down there? And if I have a good time, I'll make it in that annual event. I mean, I've supported Cornelius before. I enjoy Kaz's content. Uh, does, the, does your butt crack ever slide out the side of your bikini? Not since I got all this fat injected in my butt. My, uh, my crack just swallows that, uh, that string. Tweakers woke him up and told him he was doing it wrong. Oh my God. That my uh my butt crack just eats that thing in the rear now. So that's the way you want it. Yep. Yeah, and cause this is called a troll or rom. It's kind of like anything goes. Have you ever been so intoxicated you tried? To ride an exercise bike to Walmart. No, I don't think I've ever been that wrecked. The last time I got really fucked up, I had carpal tunnel syndrome. And we were staying at the Vagabond Hotel in Sacramento. And I was on pain pills and I got drunk. And I was running around the balcony, the whole, dis the whole top floor of the hotel and just my panties going back and forth and they had to finally bobby and uh, boss had to grab me and finally put me in bed <laughs> that was a wild night that was uh just before i think that was in 2012 that was the early days of hanging out with Bobby and the boss and Janet. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, but I got really fucked up. Really fucked up. Anyone want a half a grilled cheese? Boy, I can't tell you how many years it's been since I had a grilled cheese. But the slabs has always been very intriguing to me. The salt and sea, that lifestyle down there. I admire people. You know, cause is like living a dream. You know, he... he he does some freelance stuff. He makes the money he needs to make. Let's see. Being put in bed by Bobby and the boss at the same time. Woo! Jen Jen said so I got drunk at a friend's house and walked out. Walked back in thinking I walked in a gas station. <laughs> People stole my friends. That's funny as shit. Yeah, Salt and Sea is really funky. And then, I mean, the the... the more it dries out, the worse it gets, right? Yeah, it's okay, cause you're straight up about shit, you know. <clears throat> See, I don't mind if if it's if if I feel like giving, which I do, then it's a good, you know, it's on me. You know what I'm saying? You're not asking me to buy you, uh, you know, a car or anything. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go grab a beer and get down to cases with cause here. Yeah, the cool thing about hanging out with Kaz is 
Cos knows he knows the ropes. He knows where all this all this cool shit is and stuff that other people aren't going to see too much. Yeah, Doctor Fish, he enjoys enjoys me. And well, I've been uh, Chairman Orm. I've been on Mayor Bear's channel for two years, over two years. Since first time I hopped on her channel was back in two thousand seventeen with the Super Bowl when the Eagles won. Colleen says the last time I got drunk, I fell off the second store balcony. Asked, how did I get down here? <laughs> Well, lucky you didn't injure yourself. <clears throat> I was like, I just talked to Norm today. Just had a nice, real nice conversation with Norm this afternoon. I'm trying to get my ducks in a row for coming up to Canada. Um, taste the row. <laughs> Chairman, yeah, Chairman, Chairman Norm F. Number one is Tasha. Chairman Norm F here, his number one gal is Tasha. And I think probably Sammy Jacks is number two. And then somewhere down there, I'm like number three in Chairman Norm F on there. Salt and Sea is 14% saltier than the ocean. When it gets hot, the oxygen level goes down and fish die. The beaches look like white sand, but that is bones. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Colleen, I was feeling no pain, feeling no pain. Hi, Melton. I know you're watching tonight. Are you giving me one of Elvis's Canadian girls he was begging for last night? Mm. Not me. Turn on the fireplace. Really? You think we need to fire the, the phony fire? The phony fire. Yeah, I remember you did. I don't know, Vincent. I can't remember you saw, sent me stuff before about uh, Carl. Chairman Norm, I'm just, you know, I just enjoy myself. That's all. Okay, I had a long conversation with Norm on the phone today. Like I said, trying to get organized for uh, Toronto and um, <clears throat> figuring out where I'm going to stay. Going to be making my way up there, up to the uh, what is that? The uh, up through Michigan, the foodie trail through there. I'm looking forward to uh, Michigan. Well, I know every one of the Camus family. That's for sure. All the sisters, all that family, all follows me on YouTube. So, look at your. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, Vincent. I appreciate it. Norman is willing to fly hot girls to Canada for Elvis. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just driving up myself. It's been a lot of years since I've been around in Toronto. I just want to see what's changed, what's new, what's not. Narce uh, has been taking some time off with his family. I think he's trying to get into uh, the mechanical side of trucking and, and repair work, hipster. Oh, when I said, okay. No, Tasha. Hey, Sammy. How you doing, beautiful girl? Mm, there's my wonderful Aussie girl. Or could I have a right good fling with Sammy girl? Hmm? Oi, Sammy. Hmm? You go, you go, Sheila. Huh? <laughs> Tasha doesn't like cops. Oh, cops. Yeah, a lot of people don't like cops till you really need one. Uh, Lolita, yeah, the Lolita Express, huh? Mm. Mallory, Mallory sent me an update. I'm going to paraphrase it. I don't have permission to read messages, but I do think that she would uh, would not mind, uh, 
she she did go to the doctor today. I'm not gonna she she was pretty banged up. Okay. There was a very high impact at 25 miles an hour with no braking or anything. So she got flung around pretty good. Amen. So she's hurt. How you doing, branches? Um, no, I don't have a special beer, just to, we got to watch our figures, just to Michelob Ultra. But I'm not sure how much time I'm going to spend in Canada or up there. And I'll be making my way over to the, uh, over to the East Coast. Not going to be going into New England. Okay, I sure will. I think she'll probably, I'm hoping that she'll do an update uh, tomorrow. I like Canada too. <clears throat> Chairman Norm F., would you really meet me in Chicago? <laughs> How you doing, Coat? King of all things in the house. How you doing, Coat? <laughs> no royal boots. Who wants free smoke? I got it for you. Um, I imagine that she will hipster today being the, what is today? What's today? Hipster the second. Yeah. So I think she doesn't take off for a week or so. So, um, yeah, I don't talk about people's cars. I mean, a lot of people like those, uh, PT cruisers. They were kind of retro when they came out. No, I think Tosh is coming up to Chicago. How you doing, Katie? You should visit Lucy Ball. Yeah, I think if she's up, I wouldn't mind visiting. Uh, I'd actually love to visit. That's a good idea. I wonder how far she lives. I think she's more up country. Reason being, when I would see Lucy do her uh, videos, it was always a lot more snow where she was. It's almost like she's in Saskatchewan or, um, I don't know, Alberta, Edmonton. You know where she is? Yeah, Sean, I'm coming up in probably the third week, third to last week of uh, June. I think they say Tucker lives in Vancouver now. I think you're going to stay at the Hampton Inn Skokie again. <laughs> Somewhere above Montana, I think. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it over that way, Jen, Jen, at least not this time. Although I would love to meet Lucy Ball. That would be awesome. P2 Crows are now that they're all dying. They've been replaced by Kia. So, yeah, I don't still know enough about them. She's close to uh, close to Montana. Let me take a look at this thing for a minute. Let me see. Yeah, it seemed like a nice area, but it seemed like she was getting a lot more snow than other people were in other places. So let's turn that around. Montana. That's a big state, Montana. I think what Regina, maybe around Regina. That seemed like a very good sized place, Regina. If I had to guess, I would say she's probably in Regina is a pretty good, uh, pretty good sized city. Uh, Texas is big. Yeah. How you doing, coach? When are you coming to St. Louis to hang out with me and Oda? Uh, St. Louis, I think it's going to be in the fall, hipster, when I roll through the I-70 run and then uh, head, make a go south out of uh, Indianapolis, I think so. Black Hills safe for LGBT. It's a good idea, Sean. I have no idea. Maybe if uh, we go back and forth to Philadelphia. Yeah. Well, I just, Frederick, I was trying to be positive about the boarding house. I was just relaying my whole 
experience about uh, living in a boarding house and how, I mean, he seemed to be complaining about how sterile and boring it was since the hipsters moved on. I simply said, thinking, well, why don't you move down to downtown Portland, get in a boarding house and uh, share that living with a lot of people. It's very cheap living. I mean, it's fantastic. I was, I was making bank when I was doing that. I had a few dickheads, you know, but other than that, it was pretty cool. Yeah, you see a lot of Kia key, key Souls. You don't like Prius, too. It was not, my video for Melton was not meant to, I never imagined in a million years that he would be pacing the room like a wild animal, just, you know, with veins popping in his neck and his eyes bulging. Because of that? Because of my comment on that? Oh, thank you, Jennifer. This was actually a gift from Kat. So, it's all very, very form-fitting, you know? <laughs> I don't drink hipster beer. I th evidently, Sean, I never imagined that we'd be going off the rails uh, on that. Uh, I don't know what the hell to say. You know, obviously it blew up his uh, blew up his chat. Usually his shit's got nobody watching, and it's got double on there since it's got my name in it. Yeah, he went off on me, but it is what it is. Joining the Chimpendales. Yeah, it's like Nancy said, I'm an urban city girl trapped in a beautiful suburb. It's lonely here. I was just trying to, you know, trying to make a good, yeah, his, his response didn't make sense. I mean, I'm sure. My mom told me to stay away from quiet night on the void. I think it'll be heating up later. I'm not sure, Coach. Dave's supposed to be having some type of uh, – I'm glad to have a quiet night. He seemed to be having some kind of uh, tell-all later or something. Oh, okay, Sean. I just didn't understand what he was going on. I think so, Sean. He said, look, he's desperate to get to a thousand subs, so he's using the Mallory term of fake outrage to attract new viewers. Okay, night Jen Jen. Hope physical therapy goes well, honey. <laughs> I don't know, Coach. I just live here. I just I just work here. Coat, all that shit is so far above my pay grade. You know me, man. I don't want to. I don't want to have anything to do with that. I'm just like beer, booze, beer, booze, broads. That's my whole thing. That's it. You cut off your own shorts. No, I didn't cut these off. These were. Uh, these just came this way. You know what I'm saying, Coat? I'm not. You know, I'm, it's just not my, it's not my Fandango. <sighs> you know, I'm just, I got, I, I got enough bullshit <laughs> without, without going out on it. They're pretty good. You got it, the pockets are long. <laughs> Yeah, Melton's desperate to begin with. Forget. To, well, we've been, we've been getting along pretty good. Yeah, I think it's become a broken record for you over the years. Yeah, I just uh, you know, Code. I'm looking forward. I'm only uh, <clears throat> next uh, next week begins Vegas, which kicks off my my future of travel all over the country and stuff. So it's going to be a different story for me. I'm looking forward to it. There's going to be a lot of people in the streams, a lot of new sites, a lot of new people. 
I'm getting the hell out of Dodge. I'm going to be bringing a lot of new scenes, a lot of new sites. I'm not going to be stuck in a rut. I'm going to be rolling, rolling, rolling. Get that banner rolling, rolling, rolling. Mm -hmm. Streaming houses, all kinds of shit. He's sucking his thumb right on that. On well, it's not meant to get him upset. You know, he just, he took off on me in a major way. To totally unwarranted. Totally unwarranted. Is Dory the door of the explorer getting the hell out of Dodge? Billy Boy will miss you. I'll probably be down in uh, Point Ray Station one more time as I make my way down the Pacific Coast. That'll be one of my regular places to go to when I'm in the area. Point Ray Station is incredibly nice down there. It's beautiful. I have a drone flight going up tomorrow over Point Ray Station. Hopefully, we get our drone back tomorrow, too. <clears throat> yeah. It's a big country to see out there. Lots of people, lots of streets, lots of hoods, lots of experience. I've already had a lot of people contacting me. With You guys will know where I'm going. People saying, hey, you got to see this, you got to see that. Just not that shitty bar. Yeah, I'm not going to be drinking in there again, side chat slot. That's for sure. Talk about unfriendly. Stephanie Brown is Boyd. Stephanie Brown's not Boyd. <laughs> Stephanie Brown's not Boyd. Sammy, oh, thank you, honey. Australian 10, there's my girl, Sammy girl. Sammy, you got to do your Madonna thing again. Pull off your cloth. <laughs> thank you, Sammy. Mm, what a sweetheart she is. Thank you, Sammy. People will know where you are, please. Yeah, I want. I really want people to know where I am. You know, I'm I'm willing to uh, you know to risk that to have the interactions with people, to have people say, "Hey, you can spend a night at the house, or you can uh, you can plug in on the driveway if you want to, <clears throat> and uh, you know, use the shower or whatever." That would be great. Thank you, Sammy. I'll be depending on the kindness of people on YouTube. That's for sure. How's your water pressure, Tasha? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Pepper spray is illegal in some states. Huh. Wow. Wow. I had a cheap, cheap dollar store drone. I crashed it the first five seconds. It flew. Right into a fucking wall. That was it. Right into the fucking wall. So that was a short career. Because I want to take the drone with me. Oh, shower drain unclogged itself. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, what do you think? You got calcium buildup? The drain god, the drain god saw you clear. Did you see the drone footage of the killer clam in the corner? No, I didn't. Sinkhole probably opened up again. How you doing, Shannon? Nice to see you, honey. Fucking wall. That thing, I'm telling you what, Shannon, I put that little thing up. I don't even know how I controlled it from the phone. And just, and just, <laughs> the thing just took off on its own. At high speed, that little fucker just smashed into the wall, right on down. Thing still spinning. Ugh, it was over. It was over. Stared at the drone for a minute and ran. <clears throat> I don't think uh, Tasha. There. Uh, what's the sinkhole story down 
they're more up near Spring Hill, aren't they? Are they any down down around your area? It seems like it's more up around Spring Hill. Am I wrong about that? Uh, Elisa Marie will drive into a sinkhole one of these days. You got to face the chairman, Norm F. It's indestructible. Indestructible. Now, getting into a head on collision or something, that's a different story. Trolling the hole, new saying. A sinkhole lives in the Lisa Marie. Oh, Rosie, you messed up big time. You didn't uh, burn someone up in there real upset. Look, I can't run my channel for burgers. How you doing, Vinny? Nice to see you, my friend. Welcome to the uh, Trollorama tonight. You know, Bergs can never seem to take no for an answer. My house is on uh, one, 27 truckloads of grout insurance reviews to pay off the house and spent 180K to fix it. Wow. Wow. Wow, that must that shit must have been ugly. Yeah, what is it? What what can I do for you, Vinny? I hope nobody ever cut somebody's brake line. Spring Hill is twenty minutes away. Yeah, I thought that was kind of a different, like uh, uh, geological. How many days does it take to screw it up? One to screw it in, another to stand around and say fabulous. <laughs> of course, Vinny. My Australian contingents out tonight. Yeah, Spring Hill. What was that place? You ever go to Chieftain, Tasha? You ever go up to the little town of Chieftain? What a fucking weird little town that was. Uh. I guess your guess your I guess your house is anchored now, Tasha. Right? I talk to you. Later. Of course, I'm sending you a link. Don't get upset, Bergs, and don't get it twisted. Oh, <sighs> G it's coming to you, Vinny G at gmail.com. There you go, Vinny. Well, that town was the creepiest. See if that invitation works for you, Vinny. See if that works. I sent you a direct link. Tasha, this, this town called Chieftain was like the weirdest town. It looked like something out of a horror movie. Why is it so hard for women to find men or sense of caring and good luck? Because those men already have boyfriends. Oh, it's still broken. Shit. Hey, how you doing, Juice? Nice to see you. Shout out. Ice cold beer, shots of moonstein, and some summer night cheers. Nice to see you, uh, Juice. There's the juice. Okay. Benny, see if that works. Otherwise, I'm going to have to, uh, let me see. I'm going to have to open up another window here. Let me get me Gmail. Let's see. Let me first copy the link here. Let's see. I'm going to copy the link. I haven't, I haven't seen Vinny live too much lately. We must have been in different uh, time zones. Let's see here. I mean, different. I don't think he's on as much as he used to be. I think he's taking a break. Uh Let's see. MB Breas found a video. He said, your body is world famous. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Let's see. There's Vinny. Vinny, I'm going to drop the link. I don't know if you got that. I'm going to send this to Vinny. Let me send this. There we go. Vinny G at Gmail. Gonna be called link. 
Boom, here it is. Paste, send, kaboom. Okay, Vinny, see if you got that. See if that worked. If not, just come right back over to the uh, chat. My dream woman is special comment. In her now interview is most importantly too naive, too naive to know she's way out of it. I just thought Chieftain was world class weird when I got up there. Let's see. How you doing, Ricky? Hope you and Shay are doing well, honey. Let's see. Your body's world famous. Somebody better not have used my ass in a commercial. I'm going to have to check that out, MB. Yeah, somebody used me. <laughs> somebody fucking used me in a goddamn... Commercial, son of a bitch. Fuck. Let's see if Vinny got that. Uh, what's up, Melton? Melton, I, I want peace. I don't want any, tr I'm not looking for trouble. Let me see if Vinny stops back in here. I did uh, VinnyG at gmail.com. I'm going to send it one more time. Vinny. Oh, okay. Here's another one I got here. Hold on, Vinny link somebody used my shit in a commercial i can't even believe it in germany fuck paste there we go my vegas pool video god damn okay i uh hold on vinny vinny stop sending me money for fuck's sake i don't wanna here we go here's vinny link here it is send it where here you go vinny Kaboom. Coming right back at you. Boom. There it is. Now, let me just say, while we're waiting for uh, Vinny to come up here. Uh, no, I'm just saying, Melton, it wasn't outlandish. I wasn't giving advice. I was simply, re honest to God, Melton, I was simply relaying. I got nothing against you. I was simply relaying, right. how you doing, Benny? I was simply relaying the experience I had in a boarding house and how it was so good for my psyche to be around so many people. Okay. Vinny, Rosie. How you doing? Oh, Rosie, Rosie, Rosie. I've got a glass <laughs> of red wine in my hand and you're having a beer, so I'd like to toast a big cheese to you. <laughs> Here's I'm you. I'm only on here to say three words rosie and i apologize for those three words that are coming out but all i can say is suck shit bergs <laughs> <laughs> i apologize <laughs> i didn't mean to, you know i mean fuck bergs give me a break okay i mean Christ, how often do i see uh uh, Vinny and I are like a blue moon we cross now. And uh, Melton, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to lose my shit. You tell me I had it so good for so long, brother. I pulled myself up from the bootstraps. I okay, came Rosie, back. Rosie, hang on, hang on. You're too I'm kind. Go right here, but, but Rosie, you're too kind. Just tell him to go get fucked. That's I mean, all you've got to do. Go get fucked, Melton. I mean, it's like you would know nothing about my background. Mm -hmm. uh, the circumstances, 11 people crammed into a shithole. Don't tell me about uh, I've had it too good for so long. No, it's not a question to look at you. Well, look at me what? Yeah. You really yeah. want to go down this path? You really want to open this thing up, Melton? Well, I try to give a very measured response tonight to you. Okay. Well, my, your measured response is too measured. My measured, my, my measured response is I've never seen anyone take a video of themselves curled up in a fetal position, sucking their thumb on their bed. I mean, I've just, uh, you know, I just... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on. Who the fuck does that, Rosie? Oh, fuck, Vinny. 
<laughs> you know. don't, don't boot me. This is a trollorama. Don't boot anybody. Uh, no, I don't want you to open that door, Melton, because because honest to God, you know, you don't know anything about my circumstance. I don't know anything about yours. Okay, yeah, so what I'm saying, let's have a little bit of respect. I came on your video. I watch your stuff. Okay, uh, you know, I'm honest with you. I'm not one of these people that say, oh, I don't watch you. I watch your stuff. I left you a very normal comment today, and you just went totally off you're the too, Rosie, you're too fucking political. When are you going to just say, I don't give a fuck about anything you do? I, I kind of did in my response video that I don't give a fuck. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, you know. No, other people, he said, <laughs> other people believe that, uh, well, Berg's Vinny paid his way on, so if you want to pay your taxes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Berg's pay your taxes. I paid my fucking fee. Yeah, hey, you, know, we'll let the, you know, if if you guys want to open it up, we'll open it up the panel. But holy shit, you know, I'll let people decide out there what the hell you want to do. But you know, Vinny, I didn't try to sell. I'm not. I'm not starting unnecessary crap now. No, no, Rosie, you don't have to fucking tell me. It just starts itself. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just a self-starting thing, and then Vinny, people. You, Vinny, you've never come at one single person mm. on YouTube where you, you always started with a level of respect, and then maybe things went down from there. Okay. Yeah. The same thing with this with this melting i do not want things to go downhill here because i came i started I, I, I had a level of respect you know in in talking about the video and then yeah, but, but rosie rosie i know you as a human being me as a human being and 90 percent of the people as human beings on here would not film themselves in a fetal position sucking their thumb on their single bed now, if he goes downhill, you know it's going to be funny, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, you know, but look at this shit. Stay away from me. That's how to respect me. Really? I mean, really, Melton? That's really the way you feel? You know, you really think I was there to agitate you today? No, uh, listen, Rosie, stay away from him, and I'm sure he'll mention your name 215 fucking times in the next 60 fucking nine hours, and uh, you will have stayed from him. <laughs> it's just a... Christ. Anybody? Uh, yeah. I'm going to grab another beer, Vinny. Holy fuck, I cannot believe it. You know? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, they, these people are just... Yeah. They, they make me laugh, Rosie. You know, they really, I, I, I enjoy their humour, their sarcasm, and everything about them. I really do. They're... Oh, he no way out to me. He don't take a link on other people's panel. He he thinks it's, he thinks it's slumming if he comes on here on my panel. Can, can, I, can I admit something to you, Rosie? Of course. All right. So whilst I'm talking to you, I said to my chat, I was having a live stream. I said, look at this Berg's motherfucker. He's doing a stream about irrelevant people on YouTube. I said, well, you know what? I'm going to go and talk to you, uh, to Rosie and have a drink with Rosie just to piss Berg's off. <laughs> Rosie, I'm sorry for the hey, You know what, Vinny? <laughs> it's all good. You know what? Because you don't go south on me indiscriminately and you don't have tantrums. I mean, you're a, you're a grown person. Yeah. We don't always get shit the way we want to. It's not because I set things up, right? No, I no, doing that's right. This is not a setup. And, and I'm, I must say, Rosie, um, I have just finished a bottle of Windy Park Cabernet Merlot. Okay, Ooh. so... All right, so I might not be of straight mind, and no, people. That's can... fine. I, I like a Vinny that's relaxed and chill. It doesn't have back pain and every other fucking pain in the world on the. Yeah. The... Uh, seriously, Rosie, bless your heart and soul for fucking giving me the lick because I know right now there's someone in Seattle sitting in their garage, sitting there going, <laughs> "You goddamn motherfucker!" Yeah, you know, the thing is, I'm I'm supporting this guy. I mean, I'm I'm. Donating, I'm trying to uh, 
encourage positive behavior. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, I appreciate that. Penny. Now, Melton John, you you come from. He tells me I come a, from a place of privilege. Period. What? I came my way through college, working as a framing carpenter and a day laborer. And working you were a you were hang on hang on you were I a framer. Wait, hang, hang on hang on hang on hang on whoa, whoa 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 I want to inject some thought into this. You were a framer. Yes. Yeah. I can use a speed. If any speaker. if any of you motherfuckers know what a framer has to go through out there to lift fucking lengths of wall that you put together on a ground and to raise them vertical. <laughs> right man, on. You know, that right is, on, you're right that on. Is, you need soul plates, seal plates. Yeah. To, and people would mm. sit here baffled as I took the seed square and, and laid out steps. Yeah. <laughs> Man, uh, hey, Rosie, I'm going to tell you straight up now, any <laughs> bit of carpentry I hated was fucking framing. And you know why these motherfucking builders, when you they were ordered. Look at what this fucker just said. <laughs> you see that? Take a screenshot of it. I want to see you get gang banged. Are you kidding me by Negroes when you go on your walk? What the hell is wrong with you, Melton? Yeah. yeah. I mean, are you kidding me? This guy's a fucking lunatic. I mean, hey, Rosie, go back 40 years where mental asylums were still around. You know what? It's fucking on, Melton. It's on now. Yeah, he's bouncing you know? off walls. He's bouncing off walls, this motherfucker. He's got his arms hugging himself in a fucking special jacket with three buckles, you know, top, middle, bottom, and he's bouncing off fucking walls. He's here. I don't know why you even address him. I mean, this oh, guy. I mean, I gotta, normally I wouldn't, but it's a trollerama. Yeah. Kind yeah, of fuck him. him. He yeah. takes advantage. And don't tell Benny F you, okay? You don't know Benny. No, just tell him. Tell him just a fuck you. Go fuck yourself, Melton. I couldn't give a fuck about you. Can you imagine somebody putting that in? I hope you get gang bang. I mean, really? Mm. I mean, you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand what these, you know, hey, Rosie, seriously, right? Don't go look for Vinny, Melton, okay? Vinny's not here to be your target tonight, okay? The bottom line no, is. No, no, let him go, Rosie. But you see, I, I don't care about anything in your life, as you probably most likely don't care about anything in yeah. my life, except that we have human rapport. We can actually sit here, have a drink, and fucking laugh, right? Now, I look at people like Melton John. This is a fully grown man who probably between the ages of 25 to 35 is sitting in a fucking bedroom with a single bed. Do you know this guy's not getting any pussy, Rosie? <laughs> do you know that? Do you, do you know that? I'm serious about this, right? This guy needs to get one of those Chinese... <laughs> He needs to actually get one of these Chinese sperm extractors, <laughs> those mechanical things, you know, because... How are you doing, Pam? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Rosie, but... Melton's I'm a little sorry. helper. <laughs> <laughs> Melton, you really, you're on, you're on the radar screen now, and it takes a lot to be on tonight, bitch boy. I'm just saying, okay, you want to... You especially wanna, a trollerama. You especially go a trollerama. Yeah. When I started out and made a positive comment on your video today, and you went off on me like there was no tomorrow, and I did your response tonight, Melton, and I tried to be measured and positive and upbeat about it and all that. Yeah, but hang, hang, hang on, Rosie, Rosie, uh, listen, listen. Don't address the motherfucker, and I'll tell you why. You know what got my interest sparked in yourself? Number one, the electronics. Number two, you just said you were a fucking framer. I had a guy come up to me when we were, I was very young in the carpentry industry, and he used to always say to me, he used to always hold a can of fucking Melbourne Bitter, right? This is a beer. And, <laughs> That's a good know, framer, Vinny. <laughs> yeah, and, he, and he used to say to me, he used to framers, right? <laughs> Rosie. Yeah. I tried framing once. <laughs> And to lift those walls when you put the noggins, the plates, the verticals, yeah, yeah. and everything's everything together to lift them vertical, boy, oh, boy. 
Yeah, Go usually, ahead. I have, uh, usually I had to call over some boys and get the uh, get the notched out uh, two by fours to get that baby uh, to get that yep. baby there. Mm -hmm. But you know, the main thing I did, Vinny, was I was very good at mathematics. I could lay out stairs and things and landings, and other people would do it and they would fuck up so many pieces of wood to try. Oh to <laughs> my god! You know what? You know what? You know what I hated about stairs? <laughs> I I hated. The circular staircases and dropping the wedges between the stairs. Yeah, there we go. Oh my it. God! What That's a pain it. in the ass, you know. I mean, Melton's got no idea. Look at the address, Melton. Go on Google satellite. Everybody on that side chat, go on. Go look at the video that Melton dropped and look at the response I made on his suburban video today. I left the street address in Baltimore of this rooming house that I stayed in, please go to Google Earth and look at that image, okay? And then tell me this prick was was raised in some some high class yeah. New England yeah. gated mm. community. And yep. for some reason or another, he blew out. He's got no ability to survive. He became he, he became I privileged. Can't. Rosie, he became privileged. Yeah, he became privileged, and that didn't work out for him. And now, you know, he's back to square one. How are you, Pam? Nice to see you, sweetie. Hey, Pam. How are you? If, if he, if I mean, look, you know, there's a certain skill set, and um, like, um, <clears throat> see, my wife has an expectancy of me because, like, I'm in the kind of building industry and shit like that. Could you fix the tap? I'm not a plumber, but yeah, sure, oh, I can. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Even down to putting the insert into the tap and grinding out the base so the washer sits flat on there. Yeah, I'm not a plumber. Cat. I got no problem with the way that you know. Yeah, I think he yeah. got good heart. None at all. No issue at all. But I'm saying this guy, this guy yeah. couldn't have lasted a week on the streets of Baltimore. There's no way this guy would have made it. He would have been. He would have been part of a wall. You know, and that would have been the end mm. of it. Damn. <laughs> I want to. I want to see people like my. Uh, where's my wife? She just got home. She can tell you, Rosie. I come. I've come home with fucking. Oh, with with openings in my head that should have been stitched. Yep. Right. Yep. They should have been stitched, and yet all I had to do because I had a job to complete was duct tape. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> Fucking duct tape. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, Melton, Melton John. I work mm. my way up. Make sure you sing up for our huge giveaway. I sure will. There's somebody else. Uh, Richard Riley has something. Another contest I have to do. Melton John, I defy you. I'll meet any. I'll meet you in any city anywhere in these yeah. United States. Any community. Any any inner city streets anywhere. We'll see who and, lands and longer. We'll see what, the, we'll see who survives better out there and who screams uncle first. I don't give a fuck. What I'd like to say, Rosie, is my wife's out the back, so I'll just shout out to her. Hey Chief. He's like, I ain't meeting you. Do you crazy. remember that time I come home with all that duct tape and rag wrapped around my head? Yeah. The big the big openings across my head. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, and you said to me I was a fucking idiot because I didn't go and get stitches. Exactly, exactly. You take too many chances and stuff, Benny. Yeah. With your back and everything, you're <clears throat> you know, in the uh, excavator and all that shit and barely able to. I winced every time you got in and out of that cab and yeah. that step down. You, don't you, know, know. You, you know what my wife said to me, right? I was, um, and, and like, you know, I think she's a she's a great mum. She's a great woman and everything, right? You know, when I was sitting around hobbling on uh, crutches, right? You know what my wife said to me? She goes, "Thank fuck, those crutches are gone. You were giving me the shits." <laughs> That's what she actually said. To yeah, me, Melton, you know? I'll go where I want to go on YouTube. So you better yeah. block me on the way out, okay? Yeah. But, <sighs> uh, yeah, no, nah, Melton John, Melton John, he's just a fucking vile person, Rosie. You know that, don't you? Well, I certainly, but I didn't know it tonight. I knew it now, you know. Well, I mean, he made before. I mean, I've never seen such a vile comment 
in six mm. plus years on here and four four plus years on side chat. Yeah, yeah, I'm a white supremacist. Oh yeah, I sure am. Right, Melton? You better get yeah. you better get your head out of the toilet. Yeah. Look, I don't know why you're even getting pissed off at him. You know he's just a fuck. You know this fucktard would have been institutionalized forty years ago, don't you? You know he'd be hugging himself with one of those special jackets. Headbutting the fucking pedophile. You know what? I'd love to see him say that on the. On, I'd like to see him on Monroe Street in Baltimore mm. and say the say the things that he says. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Sorry about. I've, I've just got to mute no problem, myself for a second. No problem. No problem. I've got daughters and shit going yeah, on in the no background. Problem. Just yeah. Yeah. You uh, know, you talk about racially. He doesn't even know what it is to be in a racially diverse community. This guy was raised as a snowflake. Okay, that's what he was raised. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely sign up, Pam. No worry. Crazy, crazy shit. Uh, yeah, so right. yeah, because because I've run out of um, <clears throat> what would you say? Um, that that liquid substance that gets squashed by people's feet called red wine. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna get. I'm just gonna get my. Hey, you, how you doing, sweetheart? Nice to see you, Vinny. Yeah. I love the way you describe shit, Vinny. You know. Dude. Well, how else do I describe? I mean, think about it, Rosie. Historically, wine had to have some kind of fungus off people's toes, didn't it? In it. You know, well, it did. I've, I've had it like the Sonoma County Fair where they have the wine industry here, and I've seen grape crushes, and I've looked at some of the feet of some of the people who are stopping grapes. It's boy, you know, yeah. yeah, we're eating fungus, you know, that don't you? <laughs> yeah, we are. And, and uh, Melton, on the way out, go after yourself on the way out, my friend. Yeah, that's what I reckon. So you keep mm. cranking out. You keep trying to be relevant on here. You go ahead. Keep pacing around your room with your racism and everything else. You know? Yeah. Mm. Uh, look, Hi, Mel Cat. How are you doing, New York Cat? Nice to see you. I'm Mel sorry, Vinny. I just... I no, wanted... no, no. You're entitled to because what he writes is quite vile. He's just trying to fucking justify himself. Look, this little cocksucker is sitting in someone's fucking bedroom on a single bed pretending to be something fucking worthy of anything, and he's just trying to justify his presence on here. But, Rosie, I'm telling you now, behind everything you see about Melton John, there is one thing in mind, channel building and money. Oh, I know. Let's, let's run it through, Vinny. How do you live in? How do you have a room like that? Let's run it through. We said the eight choices. You're 38 years old, and for whatever reason, failed marriage, failed business venture, or whatever. You're back with mommy and daddy. Okay. The reason I say that is most people that are living in that circumstance, they're very careful about what they show on cam. Like me, I go everywhere around the ranch. Oh, I show everything here. But if you're living in mommy daddy's house, you're always very careful to like be in one room and uh, when mom and dad are away on a weekend retreat, you can go in the kitchen. You have a little bit of kitchen privileges down there, but otherwise you keep your world very small up there. So that's the first choice. A B is that he owns the house. Not very likely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> choice number <laughs> Choice number three. Well, choice number in the community. He's in a he is in a he's in a roommate situation with some other people. So do you want A, B, or C? You know, take your choice. Okay, living with mommy and daddy, owns the house himself, or is living with uh, living with roommates. Take your choice. You know, vote A, B, or C. So, so uh, Stan, hang on, hang on. Before I get in my car, who the fuck are we talking about? Bergs or Melton John? We're, <laughs> we're talking about Melton John. Okay, because you know Bergs isn't far from the situation you're describing, don't you? Yeah. Well, Melton, yeah. And uh, hipster, it's not like anybody. You know, you have to put the address Oregon, 
Psychiatric Evaluation Review Board is a location. You have to put that in yourself, okay? All right, when it said location for video, he added that in himself. He's no, he ain't no psych ward, okay? He ain't no psych ward. Let's be real. Yeah, no, I agree. Hey, Rosie, I'm going to jump out of here for a second. Okay, I'm Vinny, gonna, no problem. I'm, I'm going to go to what we call a bottle shop and acquire another bottle of wine. Oh, there we go. All right, Vinny. <laughs> See ya. Yeah, take care. Yeah, I am a boomer, Milton John, but I also pulled myself out. I didn't depend on anybody else. Uh, Hipster says, Rosie, I didn't know you could do Yeah, you can do that. If you live stream... You can put your location in. You can punch your location in, okay? One time was funny, but then when you go back like the other day and you put Oregon Psychiatric Review Board, you know, then I knew Then I knew it was bullshit, okay? <clears throat> I mean, this guy has no contact with the real world at all, no, no life living experience, no accomplishment, nothing to show for his years, no career path, nothing. <laughs> Walks around, do a couple reviews once in a while, eat some greasy chicken, you know, but other than that, you know, no, no demonstrable skills of any note. So, you know, we had, we got shooters, husband beaters and wife. We got it all down here. So, um, why would you want people to think you're a place? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's not even criminal. It's just evaluation for, for work. You know, put the fucking guy on a Georgia chain gang. He'll do just fine. You know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, thank you. Oregon Psychiatric Security Center. Well, let me see. What, let me get the name right. I don't because, you know, precision counts in my world. Let's see before the next hate video of his comes out. Let's see here. You know, you couldn't even leave, you couldn't even give him a nice video. He just goes off the rails. You know, you try to tell him, hey, you know, I had a great experience in this little, what the fuck are you talking about that? What are you talking about that? Are you kidding me? Let's see here. Let's see. Where in the hell is this squirrel? Let's see. Melton. Let's see. This is going to be epic. Let's see what that place was. Okay, here we go. I think it was like, I was the one, it was, I dodged a bullet. Let's see. Or YouTube, I got a bone with, t yeah, here it is. Here it is. Oregon Psychiatric Security Review. Really? <laughs> I mean, come on, man. I might have been born in the morning, but not yesterday morning. Shit. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, have have some, some sense of accomplishment or something. <clears throat> I don't know if he's Jewish or Italian. Oh, he, you thought he, no, it's just uh, hipster. You can actually, uh, when you go live, it gives you a spot that you can fill in your location on there. Well, I would say bunny cha-cha. I'm not here to pick on Melton, but when somebody tells you that he hopes that you're gang banged by a bunch of uh, Negroes and on your next urban chooch, I mean, it shows you where his head is, right? That's terrible. Oh, man, that's, absol that's absolutely terrible. Let's call a spade a spade. <laughs> Super Jewel Juden Shep. What is that? Shelkopf? <laughs> He's Amish. I don't know what he is. I have no idea. But stay the hell out of my world, Melton. <clears throat> stay the hell out of my world. You know, Riley the Roofer, how you doing, Sandy? Nice to see you. Riley the Roofer warned me about your ass. He begged me to stay clear of your nonsense, Melton. But he's the one, he's the one that had you shut down. 
10 years ago. Why don't you tell the people the story about how Riley the Roofer put you out of business? Um, Simon, how you doing, sweetie pie? I sent you a link to uh, in the green room there about the riding through Cumberland last time I came through. Okay, Richard, certify YouTube just the wall and you see people all nodding at the wall. Okay. Well, you know, I gave the guy a shot, right? That's it. That's the way it goes. I don't answer your questions, Mr. Sniffles. You're allowed to be here. Cab, how you doing, my friend? Cab7, nice to see you, sweetie. Nice to see you, honey. How are you doing tonight? That's the translation. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, soup. Oh, my God, Richard. We got it on here tonight, Cab. You better come spread a little bit of oil on the uh, raging seas here. <sighs> I'm one of the Hebrew faith hosey. I will punish all you uncut sinners and rebuild the temple. Mm -mm -mm. No, Mr. Sniffle says, Rosie, are you upset? Greg didn't believe you guys. So I, no, once he made that uh, statement, I didn't really care anymore. It was out of my, I had no concern anymore, uh, Mr. Sniffles. It was beyond beyond me anymore. Well, I'm not either, Nancy, but it's a trollerama. There's not much I can do about it tonight. So, um, you bet, Mr. Sniffles. My my pleasure. My pleasure. You guys are funny as shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I know, Mr. Sniffles. Yeah, I know. I, I cried for him all the I cried tears for weeks for him. I just cut holes in the sheets to have uh, sex. <laughs> I have no idea. Um. <laughs> there you go, Juice. Good night, Sean. Yeah, retreated back to his safe place. Just stay out of my life, Melton. Stay clear of my channel. That's my bottom line. Mm. That's my bottom line. No one escapes my Hebrew hammer. I shall smote all of you. Uncut sinners. Mm, boy, I hope Stewie got that screenshot from before. That's pretty epic, right? Cab, I hope you're doing good, honey. I shall smote all of you. Yeah, I hope Stewie saw that hipster. That was a bit over the top. Hmm? Oh, thank you, Classy Redhead. Would you do me a favor and please pass that along to uh, Stewie with a timestamp? <clears throat> I have no idea, perfect, if, time, if uh, Melton works. How long have I been streaming? I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, it was really bad, hipster. That was really, really bad. I don't know how long I've been streaming. Somebody could tell me. Um, thank you, classy redhead. That was some pretty vile shit tonight. Yeah, inexcusable. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close out tonight. So, uh, yeah, thank you for being along tonight on another Trollorama, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.